And I also would like to clarify something else, man. And this is in regards to my legacy and what I represent. I'll tell you, you know, pretty much put it, be more clear and bring a better understanding, you know what I'm saying, of what it means, you know what I'm saying, like what my legacy entails, you know. And, and my legacy is my influence for God, my impact for God. Anything that I've done in my life that was pointing anybody to the light, inspiring, encouraging, anything that was good for God, that's my legacy. You know what I'm saying? It's not byproducts of, you know, the devil's anger, you know, and situations that were framed by lying, you know what I'm saying, money hungry, power hungry individuals that was trying to keep me step step on me, you know what I'm saying, destroy the purposes of God, you know, with the intention of, you know what I'm saying, being worshipped you know what i'm saying themselves by everybody and things like that the actions that they you know that's 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 a byproduct you know what i'm saying of anything of, of their attack on my life their long-standing attack on my life you know what i'm saying it has no bearings on my legacy you know what i'm saying it has no bearings on my legacy that's rather something that they bridged staged and framed and created through a long long time of you know a premeditated you know sophisticated maneuvers and tactics that have been proven exposed simultaneous to their unfolding throughout the course and duration of all these years that's been that has been, that's been tearing on you know what i'm saying there's a major difference between my legacy and their folly you know what i'm saying their folly are things that cause destruction Anything that's bad, anything that it causes destruction, you know what I'm saying, in society or to, you know, like, like to defile the image of the gospel and the light, you know what I'm saying? The things that were created to defile my name and my legacy and my contribution, you know, on these levels, intellectual levels and all this, that's their doing. That's the devil's doing. You know what I'm saying? There's only two sides. It's God versus Satan. It's either light or darkness. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the individual, you know what I'm saying? My legacy is not is not something detrimental. You know what I'm saying? And and people understand what I've been talking about with the fragments, then I mean you understand, like, even 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 though my legacy, like as far as like my literary talent and you know, everything in my quotes, I mean it's great. You feel me? It's great now, but it's nowhere near what it initially would have been. You know what I'm saying? Hadn't there been envious influences, you know what I'm saying, early on that, that 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 wanted to be wanted to have full control over all talent in, you know, the West over here. You feel me? Like in in society. They wanted all talent to be from them, or uh, of them. You know what I'm saying? And so they, they started that early. Even if it's against a baby or a child. They didn't care, you know. And so that's the situation. Like my legacy is not nothing that's synonymous with negativity. But I mean by the same token you know what I'm saying? Everybody know what, how the Old Testament is. You got God, and you got God's people. And then, you know, when, 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 you know, the devil sent people to put siege on God's people, then God defend them. You know, God uses, you know, I mean, that's that's the difference. Like, God fight for his children. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? But God don't never spark contentions, though. You realize that this contention was smart, was sparked since before, you know what I'm saying? I even had... Like my, I mean, before I even had an understanding, you know what I'm saying, or of what life was or anything. Like this was already premeditated situation, and it was carrying on year after year after year after year after year. You know, before the seven year period, you know, over a decade already. You know, so I mean, over two decades. You know. And so, I mean, you see, man, like, I mean, it's a difference. My legacy, you know, they, they, that's what they want. They want to try to make me into a stain because of the evils that they committed. And then they failed. You know what I'm saying? The devil, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's what it is. And, and, and the truth and what's righteous is only bad in somewhere that's evil. Think about it. Only darkness hates the light. It's nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Only Satan hates God. Only what's evil hate what's good. You know, so I mean, I may be a stain in that sense, you know, but they try to like make my legacy into something bad because of how I was exploited. You know what I'm saying? How they exploited me. And, you know, I've been finessed and stolen from and, and you know, brutally brutal. You know what I'm saying? It's been a, a long standing, like gruesome situation, you know, and so they want. 
They want me to be something bad because that would justify them being able to destroy me or, or, or something. The fact of the matter is I was with Jesus Christ then, you know what I'm saying, throughout the years and still is now. I've been on God's side the whole time. So if he is something bad to this country, then, you know what I'm saying, my work and everything is, is a stain. And of course, if God is something, if the Lord is something bad, then in the eyes of society, you know, then it's not of God. Clearly, if he is considered a stain. So now they want to they want to imply perpetuate in this crime by not, you know what I'm saying? Like they want to imply perpetuate in the crime in spite of or at this point then any anything that get in the way or or like anything that happens, it's like they want you, it's like you just supposed to accept that that they're wrong and then they're not going to be they, they you know what I'm saying? It's like they trying to make you accept like, no, I'm going to be fighting for my legacy. You know what I'm saying? My contribution. I got the right to exist just like these people you worship. You feel me? These other people that that, 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 that I love and worship. Like, I, my contribution got the right to exist just like them. And I'm even better. You feel me? Like, you know, I'm like, like all the ceilings. You know what I'm saying? Like, where persecutors put people in juxtaposition with their slanders and things that they did out of their own mind, out of their own mouth. You know what I'm saying? Not something I did or said, but it's something they created out of jealousy. You know what I'm saying? So they use that, and then they put other people in the equation that that originally God never had any plans of them having anything to do with me. That's something they did out of their own mind. So regardless of who did it, they got to sit there, you know what I'm saying, and lay in that bed that they made for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, though, I'm not, I don't have to change anything about my life or my legacy or my contribution or anything to incorporate that. The only, the only, the only thing i have to do to, you know what i'm saying if the only incorporation of that that i do is talking about the damage and the suffering and my weaknesses from being heavily persecuted in a in a society supposedly under god while even though i was christian and following god the whole time you know what i'm saying that's the oh, that's as close as we ever get you feel me it's not no personalization of the whole situation you feel me you know what i'm saying it's not no talking term type situation it never would be that because this is no, it can never be that. This is larger than life persecution against somebody without a cause, in spite of proof of it and everything. Like this is not a situation that you just, you know, like when it comes to my contribution. That's what I mean. Every anybody that's an artist, you know, what I'm saying they work is something that they're gonna value and they love. That may be how they. That may be their income. How they express themselves, how they vent, how they cope, you know what I'm saying, how they heal. You know, it's a lot of reasons why people do art, but they're gonna love that. So the most, you know what I'm saying, the most disrespectful thing, you know, the, if the worst thing they art get destroyed, then what do they do? You know, if they artists, you know what I'm saying? So basically, you know what I'm saying, whatever they were trying to make me or force me into, I'm telling them to do that. And that's fine, you know what I'm saying? Because they have no kind of legal authority or anything, you know what I'm saying, to tell me like like they say, all right, give up art. And go, um, let's say, you know, go, 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 go do something lesser. You feel me? Or do something lesser that, that, you know, to which you just get a nickel and dime or something like that. No, I'm telling them to do that. You feel me? With my, with all my authority. Just like we're on the same level. You know what I'm saying? They stars. I'm a star too. You know what I'm saying? I got the right to tell them that. Just like they got somehow got the right to tell me that. Like, no, you quit what you doing. You feel me? You go work at what you call. You feel me? That's what you do, you know what I'm saying? Because that's that's the same kind of situation. They don't have the right, you know what I'm saying, to even even arrange or, or, or attack my life in any kind of way to sabotage the circumstances in order to railroad me or, or coerce me into a set type of lifestyle, you know what I'm saying, without there being no basis for it or anything. They don't have that right. And I don't fear them, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm telling you to do that, you feel me? Just like you could tell me to do that. No, you do that. You know what I'm saying? And plus, by me being more talented than you, then, you know, I win. My, my words should win, you feel me? Okay. And by me being able to prove that any time, then I still win, you feel me? So your game, you just got to be that. Like, no, you do that, you feel me? You go suffer in, in the homeless shelters and things like that. You you go, you feel me? That's the kind of situation. You feel me? That's what they've been doing to me for over seven years wrongfully. And don't even know me just because they fear the truth getting out about something that they want somebody that they worship or something did that was that was stupid. You know what I'm saying? To the purposes of God or something. You know what I mean? That's too bad. You feel me? That's too bad. 
Deal with it. Feel me? Lay in that bed. Thank them. That don't mean to destroy my life anymore. And then if, if if something can happen that will prevent them from further perpetuating this crime, then they label you a menace or then they label you a, a villain or they label you like, nah, nah, you're wrong. I'm right. I live right. You live evil. You know, I obeyed the law. You didn't. I follow God. You follow Satan. It's obvious. You feel me? They got it twisted. You feel me? You have no voice in the situation. Zero. You feel me? You have zero voice. You can't say nothing. The only thing you can do is be prosecuted or, you know what I'm saying, or, or what else? I mean, how how did the country define murder? When you murder somebody, what happens? I mean, that's on them. They, somehow they got to sort that out. You know what I'm saying? But I'm out the equation. That's all I'm saying. Me and my correspondents is totally not their business. Because of this situation is being proven and exposed. You know? And that's the situation. That's how it is, rationally. They're cheating, lying, and they're trying to perpetuate something that, that for which they have no basis to do, period. And trying to some, somehow find some kind of way to destroy my legacy when they're not messing with other people, stuff of other races and things that, that, that say even way more disturbing things I ever said. I'm just talking about my life, the truth of what I've been through and live. You know what I'm saying? They make generalizations and label it things, certain things. I look at it as just my testimonies of a of, of witness of Jesus. That's what my legacy is. The accounts of the things that, that I went through and suffered wrongfully for, you know, and the pain I suffered. And then I talk about the good things. That ain't even all I talk about, you know what I'm saying? I got things talking about, you know, abstract things, nature, you know what I'm saying? You know, things that other people don't normally put into art, like, like you know what I'm saying? This generation thing, like that. Like, my whole aesthetic was totally different, you know what I'm saying? And then after showing that that they that this was true and they're showing that they was already trying to take, you know what I'm saying, parts of my life and everything, like, you know what I'm saying? Anything that they were trying, it, it gets halted. It's halted, you feel me? By any means, it should. It, it be what is it, martial? It, it, they can do whatever they got to do. You know what I'm saying to protect somebody's rights. You feel me? Like I mean, but that's if it's under God, though. You feel me? That's if that's if God is under God is esteemed, because that's who I've been standing for. Who I'm gonna stand for, living or dead. That's who I'm. That's who I follow. God. You know what I'm saying? That's who I've been with the whole time. So if he has no honor, then they can complete this crime, which they still imply doing so by allowing the same evils to stay being a position to perpetuate the evils and not be just. So, I mean, that's why we're looking at things like that in society or, or looking at mass contention thing because of the evil they committed that they're not being, you know what I'm saying, that's not being accounted to them. Included uh, murder, you know what I'm saying, larceny, extortion, blackmail, coercion, racketeering, you know what I'm saying, all, they got thousands of counts of these crimes, you know what I'm saying, but they're still all in the same, th see, you feel me, I'm an eyewitness of it, so I mean, that's the situation, you feel me, and that's why we're looking at circumstances the way it is, it's not because of, of me saying anything, not because of my legacy, quote unquote, feel me, it's because of their evil and jealousy of their legacy, you know what I'm saying? So they're ushering in circumstances to which will bring it will be their own undoing by the bad decisions that they made, you feel me, early on. And and consistently. And try to keep it low key and things. Now it's all out in the open. You feel me? And that's the situation. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple.